Twins of Evil I had I'd seen was was just in the last three months as a, a cult cinema that's just been refurbished in the middle of New York, mm -hmm. and they were showing Twins uh, uh, Twins of Evil, I think Vampire Lovers, Twins of Evil, and Lust for a Vampire as their opening show, and. Um, yeah, I was amazed. I was amazed that's in the Quad Cinema. Big publicity, Hammer Films, and a fan from America, a very nice guy called Jamie Katz, sent me copies of his tickets. I was very, very chuffed to, to be told and see it, actually. On, 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 the New York Times had, had listed it under five things you must see this weekend, and one of them was to go to the Quad Cinema to see these Hammer films. Now, that, to me, is extraordinary, all these years all later. All these years later, yeah. 40... I mean, I'd have loved to have been later. there, you know, gone there, wandered in, bought a ticket and seen these films. That would have been good. Have you seen them on the big screen since? Um, I'd like to say yes, but... Um, I saw Twins of Evil when, when, it, when it was being... Um, when there was a great big thing at the Westminster Film Fair for it being a oh, Blu-ray yes. and we went on stage and mm. I didn't actually stay to see it all the way through because I had another appointment but they showed it then and um, yes, now I haven't really seen them all the way through. And uh, talking about the fans, but, and these films keep going and the they interest, do. and not just in the Hammers but in the Blake Seven and, and, and all Definitely. the other productions. All, all cult, uh, all cult things really, you, they are, yes, yes. And you go to the conventions, they're very popular now aren't they? Conventions, yes, they are. They are. They're cosplay and, they're and all huge, that. Some of them are huge. Groups. Yes, I sh perhaps shouldn't say this. I much prefer the smaller ones, the more intimate ones. They can be a bit um, exhausting. Those huge things. That I won't never get asked again, will I? There's huge things in Birmingham, NEC, with them get very exhausting and hot and. Mm. And crowds and crowds, yes. But lots of different age groups coming up too. Yes, so a younger yes, generation. Yes, you do involved. definitely. In fact, I've definitely had um, students um, doing MAs in in mm. uh, early, you know, seventies English films, British films, I should say, um, asking. You know, people have the most extraordinary information. There's a gentleman who who I see regularly, very bright and not elderly who knows every single location of every film I've ever made, and probably every single location of every film that other people have made. Too. Wow. Yes. I mean, people have a passion. and they, a they, passion they and an interest, it's great. yes. yes. And people I should never is. lose that, no. that drive for the thing no. that inspires them, no. though, should they? And no. It keeps you active. I think that's exactly active. right. Yes, absolutely. I met this boy, and he asked me out, and he had a Land Rover, just an old battered old Land Rover, short wheelbase. And after a few weeks, he said, how, how would you like to travel through Africa? Um, you know, go for a trip. Wow. And I thought, wow. I did. I said, yes. And so it took us six months to get from Maida Vale in London to uh, Nairobi uh, on the road. Uh, just the two of us, actually. I mean, it was really hairy. And I wouldn't do it now. And I wouldn't want either of my daughters to do it. It's quite dangerous. But at the time, it was really exciting. And, um, and we, we, we did that trip. And I got a job, oddly, in Nairobi, in the theatre there. I was, uh, their leading lady had been held up. She was sick. And they, they were a rep theatre. They were a British wow. rep theatre in Nairobi, actually, the Donovan Mall Theatre. And every year they would have, a, uh, for a year, they'd have British uh, actors coming out for a year's contract. And quite high standard, I must say. Mm -hmm. Anyway, the leading lady had got held up because she'd got ill. And I happened to be there having a drink in the bar. And, he's, and the director said... Will you do it for us for three for three months till she comes out? So I did three months leading lady at Donovan Mall Theatre in Nairobi. When I eventually got back home... Unbelievable. The lengths you go to to get a job. I don't know. Driving all that way just to get a job. And um, I, I actually really wanted to change then. I, I felt I'd yeah. gone through an enormous experience, this driving. I mean, it was ups and downs in many, many ways, I can tell you. But... Um, I, and uh, fortuitously, somebody from uh, Television South asked me to interview f for being a television announcer. They, they were getting the new franchise there, and they wanted a trainee. They, they had already their three regular mm. ones, and they wanted a trainee, and another, I, I got that job. So I changed instantly from being an actress uh, in Nairobi to um, becoming a continuity announcer and presenter for Television South in Southampton. Wow, and LTCS, I was there which... for about four or five years. Yes. Yeah. So that was a big change. And doing lots of voiceovers and lots of voice work, in fact, as well. 
um, which I still enjoy. I do a little bit of that too. Um, but I also have lived in South Africa for about uh, 10 years, fairly recently. Came back 14 years ago. And um, then I became a teacher. My training college, drama school, gave me a teaching degree, so I oh, was wow. able to be a teacher, which I've just retired from. So, really, I was just teaching. Wow. <laughs> and now just enjoying and, and, and loving the, yes. the quieter times and exactly. just doing the projects that you want to do. Exactly. Exactly. Wonderful position like to this. be in. How nice to be asked. How honoured to be asked to, no, no, to talk about... We are honoured. Peter, Peter Cushing. No, we are. To do it. I am. To talk about Peter Cushing, I mean, really. And what a special man to talk about. Yeah, exactly. It's I mean, what man. an extraordinary thing to do, to yeah. talk about him all these years later. Bless his heart, yeah. Wonderful man. Mm. Judy, thank you very much. A, for the interview for the documentary, <laughs> coming soon to a screen near you. Pleasure. But also for talking to us in our well, production. Thank you time. for having me. Got in a phrase. You're most welcome. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Does it not carry on, is it? <laughs>